So I'm Dr. Pat Bona here to share with you some new refinements for your posture prepping. The point of the hip and the cap of the scapula are what I call functional axes of rotation. There are areas of bone in the pelvis and the shoulder that actually have lots of muscles stemming off of them like the spokes of a wheel. So if we can make sure that these muscles and these attachments are happy, the spokes are going to be better balanced and it's going to just help your riding and your horse's comfort and posture that much more. So we're going to star the far. As we're grooming, right, always the top line zone first, from the back to the front. Instead of just grooming every which way, we're going to groom a star pattern. So you want to start on a lower leg of the star, groom across the bony protuberance, want the skin to be moving freely. I might decide to take that leg up pretty far. And I'm going to do four legs of that star. You can pick and choose. Some days you're going to choose a different way to start. But do at least four legs. Get that skin moving. Make sure you're going in nice short strokes, three to five inches, so you can see where they might be sore or tender, where they might like it. And then you're going to groom up across in the regular short strokes for the cross fiber across the top line. Then you want to make sure you come down into this little area. There's a little point at the bottom there that we have muscles that insert up into the withers, down into the shoulder. And then you want to go ahead and do your star pattern. Great to take it all the way up into the crest and into the knee. Across the angle of the scapula, up into the withers. Moving nice and freely. A little flat spot here we're grooming across. Easily be changed by changing the tension through those legs of the star. I hope this is helpful for you. Please look us up at drpatbona.com and posturepref.com. Thanks for watching.